traders, FS Percolator here. Today is Friday, August 2nd. I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian, starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, in the dollar CAD, we are definitely back up into previous highs almost, but I still think there is a very good likelihood it is going to go down at some point and make a wave B, which is actually, I still think, even though it is back at the previous highs, I still think it's an ABC of wave B. So taking it down to the weekly time frame. Now on the weekly time frame, you could possibly just call this a one, two, three, four, five waves up, and I definitely wouldn't argue with anybody that did call it that. But I still think that this is very likely one trend right here, which is an A. I think this is three waves down for wave B, and I still think this puts up as a wave C, most likely a C of B, and I still think that very likely it is going to turn down and make a wave C of wave B, just like that pattern I was showing on the monthly time frame. Heading down to the daily time frame, I have been doing absolutely nothing but looking for logs on pullbacks ever since we had a break of stretch way back here. Very, very profitable going long on this thing for the past several weeks. And there's still no break of stretch to the downside, so I am definitely still looking for longs. We do have non-farm payroll coming out today, so if it does go down, if it does break and hold below stretch, I will definitely stop looking for logs and start looking for sorts again. Going down to the four hour time frame, we don't know that it's going to go down today. I mean, it definitely looks like a one, two, three, four, five for sore. Actually, the wave three, I think, is right here, but either way, and it definitely does look like it should go down, and it looks like it should go down and break Strutzer. We don't know that to be true. So what am I doing? I'm definitely still looking for longs every single chance I get. There's always a chance it just keeps on trending up. And if it is, I will just keep on looking for longs. If it goes down and breaks struts, I'll stop looking for longs and start looking for sorts again. Taking it down to the one hour time frame, really, if you zoom out a little bit and just look at the fact if you had done nothing but go long on every single pullback you've seen over the last several weeks, imagine how much money you would have in your trading account. So guess what I'm doing? I'm definitely still looking for one, two, three way pullbacks to go long. It definitely looks like a one, two, three, four, five right here. And if this is a one, two, three, four, five of wave five, which it definitely looks like it is on the higher time frames, then today's non farm payroll news is probably. Probably pretty likely to cause it to go down, break this structure, but this structure down here is the structure I'm waiting for. This break of wave four does not prove anything at all. Unless it actually goes down and breaks this structure right here, I am definitely still only looking for logs and only looking to go long on pullbacks. So don't forget to join my free Discord group, which is linked down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.